appreciate all the permanent secretary serving and retired at the appropriate time I will do the meeting. I thank you for your time. Thank you for coming to honor. Like the presiding chaplain said, my blessings are on that table. That's the reason why I tried to put something in this paper. Because my life was a mystery. A glorious wedding of the late 50s could not produce a child for eight years. Until my father, my mother was instructed to relocate to Elisha in a spiritual house. I was born in the church of Anadra in the Elisha Okeisha. And I was nurtured at Ipetumoju by my paternal grandmother, Mrs. Oyedemi Adaba. The body of joy was painted with a bit of sorrow. I was born almost crippled. I couldn't walk. I grew up to see my mother cry almost every day, possibly looking at my condition. And I was at the same time very sickly, although not offenses. My father contacted the service of a doctor from Seven Day Adventist Hospital to come and pay medical attention to me three times in a week. When the man comes, some people man, they will say, Sans him, so the other day, so the other day, so the other day, so the other day, so the other day. That's the kind of situation that I came from. But thank to God today, God has been faithful. I was taken to school, the school rejected me. In fact, I was taken to school on the bicycle of ice cream. My father was an ice cream dealer in the whole of the Federation at that time. So, that's equivalent to a car of our own time. But the, the teacher rejected me. So, how do we take care of the kid? So, they brought me back. Second year, my father took me here and insisted I was a possible We are the one who built this school. This my son was, he must be here. So, thank God, our principal then was late lawyer for Yemani. He said, okay, let's, let's see, let's see what can Suddenly, within a year, I started walking well, perfectly well. And I'm still walking to me. That was the God. God is so wonderful. I wouldn't want to bore you with story. Everything is here. Just a few of what God has done. My second day school days, I was going back to school. I school at the school. My classmates are here. Oribo Community High School. I'm privileged to have uh, about three or four of them here. Others are on their way. Femi Adishima, the former essay to Baba Buhari, is sitting. He's a very quiet man. I just want to be identified. I appreciate you. Back in the end, here. He's here. For the dollar architect. He's here. For the solar market. They are all from here. I was going back to that school. Then, they reserved a seat for me. A straight person to occupy my seat. And insisted not to come down. And let's go. They took one side. I took another side. Few minutes to the door, there was head on police with another family. And everybody died except my two sisters, Leah and Ruth, Kill and Co. They were unconscious for one month. My book lit out the road, dead body lit out the road. Everybody would be forced to come down, they were seen Kill and Co. Samson, Kill and Co. on the road. My books, they said I was dead. They were searching which one he lived to so go in Lesha. They couldn't find my body. I went to school and went in. Some of my friends here today, they, they were running away. <laughs> they tell me I don't want to school. <laughs> but thank God, I survived. Furiously, God preserved my life. You will see the story here. God is good. Every time for Jesus. Long story, but I've got it short. I was desirous of working with NDLEA. 
I was in the interview room about my time. One straight man came out. I ordered to leave the venue. I was connected by one professor from the band. They came from there. I said, over there. He led me upstairs to go and do the interview. But somebody came out. He said, you come out. And I came out. But shouted. Let's go. 